and chicken, chicken, truck and finger licking, trying to keep it in between the lines. Bird dogs are hunting, street pipes are puffing. I'm loving this day's life. What is up, guys? How's it going today? I am, well, I had to leave my buddy driven last night and I came on up towards Cary, Ohio and I delivered that a little while ago and then my next load is like 18 miles up the road. I am now in Finley, Ohio and it is now time to eat. So I got a load I'm picking up here in Finley and I'm going to Minnesota with it to Burnsville. Burnsville, Minnesota. It's south of uh right south of uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis area. So I gotta deliver that Wednesday morning and from there, I'm gonna find a load that, uh, if I can, I want, I, I want a load that's gonna take me down to uh, Orlando, Lakeland, Tampa, or even Jacksonville. That's, those are all good markets. And I thought about Miami, but I was looking at, at the rates and the, the rates going into Miami has been averaging about $3,900. But the rates going into, say, Lakeland has been around $3,500. And to me, you get to Lakeland and from Lakeland on into Miami and then back up there is roughly 500 miles. So that extra 500 miles of travel just isn't worth 400 bucks. So with that being said, Jacksonville, Orlando, Lakeland, Tampa, that's what I'm going to try to get if I can get my, get my paws on it. Speaking of balls, I can't open up my, ah, here we go, I got it. And then we're gonna see if I can't proceed and do that and be home or delivered Friday. Deliver that Friday um, and go home either that Friday or possibly Saturday. I may have to go down in, in the Florida area and see some people. I got some people down there I'd like to like a roll up on but after that guys you know what i'm gonna do you know you gotta there come on oh yeah you gotta be careful open this stuff put too much pressure on it it snaps you make a mess you gotta put just enough pressure on it to get it open without it making a mess anyways i was successful what was i saying Oh yeah, there's some people in Florida I'd like to meet up with. Uh, so if I can do that, I possibly will. And then I'm gonna go home for Christmas and then I'm gonna sit at home till, until New Year's. There's a, uh, a thing we're wanting to go to. It's one of the little local country uh, uh, restaurants right there, uh, locally owned, uh, homegrown food homegrown stuff, you know, uh, farm fresh. It's called Farm to Fork in Ringgold. Uh, you get off at exit 350, and um, it's right over there by the uh, the Freightliner, Freightliner in Chattanooga. Uh, but man, let me tell you, Farm to Fork has got fantastic food. That is one of my favorite places to eat when I'm home. That along with Outback, cause I love me a steak. I, love, I like to get the porterhouse at Outback. And if I'm out here on the road besides that, I mean, another place my favorite is Cracker Barrel. But anyway, back to Farm to Fork. Farm to Fork is a uh, locally owned restaurant in Ringgold, Georgia, exit 350, northbound I-75. If you get a chance, check it out. But they have also got a bar there, and on weekends, they usually have a band playing, and there, there's a band that's going to be playing. Uh, is a is is a one of my favorite bands. They're a pretty local band. They play around the house. Uh, I actually hired this band to play at my wedding. So when I, back in 2014, when we got married, me and the little lady, we hired this band to play at the wedding. So yeah, it was a good time. Anyway, the, the, the name of the band is One Night Stand. So Google them. I'm sure they've got some content out there. One Night Stand band. Uh, North Georgia area. Anyway, so New Year's One Night Stand Band is going to be at Farm to Fork in Ringo, Georgia, exit 350, northbound I-75. So 
that's possibly what I'm going to do for New Year's. So if anybody wants to get out in the North Georgia area, come to Farm to Fork. Uh, me and the lady's going to be there. I don't know who, who all else is going to be there. But I guarantee you, the most important person is going to be there, and that's a good time. And he's going to show up. Show up, show out. Oh, can I reach it? Yes, I can. And uh, bring in the new year right. Live music, good food, uh, good beer. Uh, mixed drinks, too. Shots of whiskey. Or sipping whiskey, shots of, shots of, uh, maybe we shoot the whiskey and sip the scotch, and babysit the beer, and let it marinate the steak that we just ate. Sounds like a plan to me. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my salad, and um, I'm gonna try to catch up on some content, on, on some comments on here, and uh, I've got a, I've got a bumper, a new intro that Brian made me. You are awesome, dude. You freaking rock. So I got a new intro I'm working on. I just got to add some music to it, depending on what I want to do to it. And, uh, well, I guess you guys know, because that's the whole reason I'm making this vlog here. So at the beginning of it, you've seen the, the new intro. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, Brian should have his uh, his new his vlog coming out real soon. So be sure to go check that out. I put Brian's link down in the description. Go check it out. Uh, me and Brian met up. And uh, done a basically a reset and uh, shot some film and uh, shot some uh, shot some uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, we played with the camera and we had a good time and uh, yeah, go check out what he's doing. Anyway, guys, I'll come back to you here in a little bit when I get rolling, get some road footage and uh, break out the gimbal and uh, take you ta let you uh, tag along. See you, bye. As we are shut down for the night and I am somewhere in Indiana. And man, it is cold as balls up here. Eh, well, I, I might be exaggerating. I'm still in t-shirt and shorts, so it's probably not that cold. Uh, but it is like 34 degrees out, and the wind's blowing pretty good, so it is a little nippy in the wind. But I don't see what the big deal is. It. I walked into a, a travel plaza, and everybody's looking at me weird, and I'm like, well, what's wrong, guys? Y'all ain't seen anybody in shorts yet t-shirt before but maybe it's because it's freaking winter time and i'm walking around like i'm back home but anyways guys i'm shut down for the night i don't really have anything else to come at you with i am in route to minnesota and we're about to be on the board looking for a load going to florida so y'all come with me now a glimpse into what I got an idea of uh, what I'm going to bring to the channel um, that's just from the phone and my DJI gimbal it does phenomenal work phenomenal job but I've got one, one problem with it one just one it's not even the product itself the one problem I have is I've got a scare tire that's done some funny things and um, well, I haven't replaced the steer tire yet because I don't want to replace one. I'm going to replace both of them. So that's 15, 1600 bucks and it's been Christmas time. So ain't nobody got time for that. So I hadn't replaced that yet. But in, in, in the rotation of my passenger side steer, there's three or four little flat spots on the outside. Uh, so I guess I might call Chad and be like, what's up with this deal? I think honestly, the driver's side is perfect. Uh, there's no other crazy tire wear on the passenger side except on the outside rim and it's just in one little spot 
about half the tire. Um, chances are it could be shocks because I think I've, I'm over on the shocks about 40,000 miles, so that might be, I'm just saying. Or, let's see, when I bought the steer tires, let's check out the mileage on, on them, and we'll find out how many miles those steer tires has on them, and then I give a good little idea if that might be the problem. Okay, here's when I got the Yoko's. Let me get my, my mileage here. You'll bear with me. So I'm at 598 663. And I put those Yoko steers on at 464. Four. 539. So on my Yoko's, I've got 134,000 miles on them. I think that's what it is. I don't think the Yoko's are kind of like the Michelin's and they're they're not gonna they're last, you know, as long as the Mich Michis will. So I think that's the main problem. I think the, the tires just, you know, losing, the belt, inside belts are just breaking, uh, along with uh, the shocks that are overdue, about 40,000 miles. So that's probably it. But 134,000 on those Yokohama steers. They've been good steers, minus that. And the p driver's side is still great. It's still got, eh, and if I, I need to mark it. Whenever I change the tires, I'll let you know about the tread depth on it. But they've been phenomenal. But I'm going back to the Yokohamas. I mean, scratch that. I'm going back to the Michelin steer tires. Because the Michelin steer tires, as long as you keep the pressures up and you don't, you know, uh, still steer, you know, move, standing still, turning your wheel, don't do that a lot. It, you always want to turn the steering wheel when you're in motion, even slightly moving. That way you don't wear bald spots on your steer by turning it, you know, that you wear them out. I don't think a lot, but you know, over the course of a year or two, it, it does wear it out. But anyway, I'm going back to Michelin's, and uh, the thing about the Michelin's is, as long as you do all that, you replace that Michelin because it's starting to dry rot, or the belts are breaking and the tires falling apart before you run out of tread. I ain't playing. The um, last when I had on my last truck, I can't remember the mileage. It was around a hundred thousand, and I still had plenty of tread. The pair before that, the set before that that I wore out had over 250,000 miles on steer tires. And I changed them out because they was, I was scared to drive them. They, they was dry rotten and stuff. And I had one little belt inside, the belt was breaking apart. So we had to get rid of them. But I still had plenty of tread. You know, I could still want another year on tread. But the deal is about Michelin's, as long as you take care of them, those tires will dry rot before you run out of tread. So when I do, get all this done I'm going to give you a lot more footage of that and um, I've got another toy coming in the mail that I can utilize with that and it's going to be even better quality and uh, I'm really excited I can't wait to let, let you guys see that so that's just a little inside peek of what's to come guys so yeah okay we're for real now gotta go see you bye